And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Matt Holliner. 6.42 this morning. Thanks for waking up with us. A lot of rain to our north and not much rain over us. In fact, we're dry in the valley right now. The only activity is offshore, and that's going to be the story throughout the day. Uh, some very strong storms. They're actually losing a little bit of strength right now, but still producing uh, some heavy rain. And we think there's going to be some reformation later on today that's going to lead to some damaging wind and hail for a good portion of the state of Texas. Now, not everybody in this shade of yellow is going to see severe weather, but the chance of severe weather from Dallas on to San Antonio. And in this shade of yellow, there's also the chance that we could see a couple of tornadoes as well. And then a secondary severe threat even stretches the Corpus Christi. But for us in the valley, no threat of severe weather, no threat of flash flooding. In fact, it's going to be a remarkably quiet day, but a remarkably hot day. Uh, notice that uh, we go hour by hour. Uh, there could be a couple showers along the coast this morning, but those are the only folks that will be seeing rain. In the afternoon, the sea breeze is going to try to set up, uh, but we're in this dry slot ahead of the cold front, so there's not going to be much rain. A couple showers trying to pop up in the early afternoon in the lower valley. They will try and move west, but are going to struggle. Uh, overall, only about a 10% chance that you're going to see rain today and a little bit better chance of lower valley. Star County probably going to be staying dry today. I uh, may see mostly sunny skies for a good portion of the day. And notice the evening hours also looking dry. Late tonight, I can't rule out a couple showers and storms that might linger into the early morning hours tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, uh, that front will be getting here, but fizzling out over us. But because there's going to be a residual boundary around, it is going to enhance the sea breeze. So we could see things uh, really starting to get underway as early as 11 a.m. tomorrow. Kind of the sea breeze starting a little bit earlier. More clouds around tomorrow as well. Notice a little bit better activity in the afternoon as well. Still mainly isolated showers and storms, but you do have a better chance, uh, particularly in the upper valley tomorrow, of seeing rain thanks to a uh, kind of fizzling out cold front is the best way to put it because it's not going to cool us down much. I wouldn't even rule out a few showers and storms that will linger into Wednesday night as well. Uh, and so that's looking like our better opportunity to rain. And fortunately, we'll get a little bit cooler. But today, 96, that's going to feel like 105 with the humidity close to record levels for this time of year. We'll take a look at that in just a second. 10% chance of showers and thunderstorms and only a seasonal breeze to help us out. So record highs today, 98 in McAllen, 97 in Wesco, 98 in Harlingen, and 96 in Brownsville. And this is what we're forecasting. We are forecasting to break the record high in McAllen, 99 in McAllen, 96 in Westlaco, 95 in Harlingen, 95 in Brownsville. So just missing our record highs, but I wouldn't rule out tying record highs in Westlaco and Brownsville. It is possible. It's going to be a close call. This is exceptional heat for early October. Still a muggy one tonight, uh, partly to mostly clear skies. Still not much going on. Only a 10% chance of catching a shower or thunderstorm. Uh, and notice a little shift in the winds, though. That'll help a touch for tomorrow, but I mean a touch because we're still looking at highs around 94 tomorrow. Again, between Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, we'll call it scattered activity uh, with a definitely break. So not a washout day and there still could be people to miss out on the rain chance and we'll keep that going on Thursday because a secondary weak cold front comes in that pushes our highs into the upper 80s, uh, but that's nothing compared to what's coming. Uh, I'll show you that in just a second. 10% uh, chance of rain on Friday, 20% chance of Saturday. Back to routine sea breeze showers and storms, and I hid the biggest number on there. From 95 on Sunday to a game-changing cold front that's going to come through Sunday night into Monday morning, and that would mean that in the afternoon Monday, we would be seeing temperatures in the 60s. Now that's a cold front we're going to be watching very closely, and we'll continue to bring you the latest.